Hey everyone, it's Dr. Steve again. I wanted to talk to you today about some rolling exercises that we can do to kind of help us identify some dysfunction and build a good foundation for movement in a 3D world. Uh, this exercise fits really well in between other exercises that I've talked about as far as a progression of rehab in between the dying bug and the bird dog type exercises. It's a good way for us, developmentally speaking, to learn how to get from our back onto our front so that we can get up into a crawling position for that next exercise uh, and build good foundation and start working on our dysfunction and our imbalances and things like that. Uh, so what I'm going to show you uh, today is how to use these exercises to start working on these kind of chains of uh, muscular activity, these slings of muscles that we have that kind of allow us to drive our shoulders towards our hips and our hips towards our shoulders in order to create rotational movement. Um, so we'll get started here uh, and I'll show them to you uh, pretty simply. What we're going to end up doing to start is laying on our backs with our arms stretched out overhead here like this. And we're going to start with the easier pattern for most people, which is to get from our back onto our front using our lower body more so. Uh, so for this exercise, what we're going to do is try and slowly pull our body across and then flip over here like this. Um, and then to come back the opposite direction, we're going to lift up and then come across here. Um, some things to look for when we're doing this exercise is uh, some compensatory patterns where we'll end up lifting both legs to come over, utilizing our hip flexors a little bit more, or pressing our opposite side heel into the ground to create some uh, rotation. What we really want to think about what's going on here is driving my hip towards my opposite side shoulder in order to pull myself across. And coming the other way, it'll look more so here like this as we're coming across. You should get your body to a point where there's kind of a tipping point going forward and it will just sort of fluidly fall the opposite direction. Um, so again, for this back to, or back to front pattern, we're gonna try and get our core engaged here because if I reach across without turning my core on, we're gonna to have to reach really far because I'm just gonna be really loose through here and my back and shoulders are gonna to wanna to stay on the ground. So what we wanna think about is keeping our core engaged but still breathing through this movement. So breathing in, as we let the breath out, try and pull our body across, hit that tipping point and then just flop over. Um, now getting back the opposite direction, again we wanna think about lifting the leg and pulling that hip towards my opposite side shoulder as much as I can until I hit that kind of rolling point and then we fall over. Uh, the next series of ones tends to be a little bit more difficult for people and that's upper pattern only. Uh, so we're trying to make sure that we are just using our uh, core muscles to pull ourselves across as opposed to getting any assistance from down below. Uh, with the second pattern, this upper pattern, what the tendency tends to be, again, is going into piking here like this and using those hip flexors to compensate for some inability to control these uh, abdominal muscles. And then the other things we get, again, are pushing off the ground. And then if you're just not doing it right, you probably just won't move at all. Uh, the, and one more thing to think about is uh, making sure when we're doing these either upper or lower pattern is that we're not just creating a ton of momentum to flip ourselves over. It should be a nice, easy, and smooth transition from front to back or from back to front. But the arms, the tendency is to reach up real quick and create a whipping sort of pattern that will pull you over and that's not really what we're looking for because that again is a compensation mechanism for a lack of control through that full range of motion which will allow us to flip over to either side. Uh, so with these upper patterns, it, I find it helpful for people to have something to reach towards. Um, so typically I'll just use a ball here like this land it somewhere outside my reach here, kind of parallel with my hip, so that I have something to reach towards. Uh, with the upper patterns in particular too, I find it helpful to let your eyes kind of guide the movement and let your body sort of follow, so that the ball here gives me something to focus on while I'm trying to roll over. So what we're gonna do from here, again, is try and look towards my goal here, and pull and pull and pull, trying to bring that shoulder towards my hip until I come across. Coming back the other way, if we want to think about using our eyes to guide us backwards, reaching up overhead, trying to drive that shoulder towards that bottom side hip on the opposite side until it pulls me across here like that. And I would just kind of repeat this same stuff going on the other side. Um, it will look sort of like this. So lower pattern coming across here like this, 
lower pattern going back on the opposite side, pulling me back here. Upper pattern reaching down and across, pulling through. Upper pattern going back over here like that. You're gonna find that some of them are easier to do than others, and some sides will be easier to do than others, and that's kind of what this exercise is about. It should be more playful in nature, and that you should just be trying to stop yourself from doing any of the compensations that we talked about, and just making the motion feel more fluid so that you get an idea of where you're having some problems controlling that range of motion, and making it better through just repetition. Uh, there's no reps or sets or anything for this one. Just play around with it until it starts to feel more natural. Uh, so that should cover it here for rotations. Um, if you have any questions about any of this stuff, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to answer any questions. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Take it easy.